And Tivita, is this why you slept? Is that your good morning? And did you sleep in our mother's room? And what sort of question is that? Huh? Where is my dad? Your dad? Look at your dad. Your dad is here. Could I really get out of this room? Where is our dad? I can get out! Where is my dad? Your dad is here. <laughs> I told you! Mm -hmm. Look, brother, the amount of bliss I enjoy right now is just too much. Wow. Too much. I have peace of mind. You know, one thing these women don't know is that there are always other four women waiting for their position. Of course, don't mind the idiot. She's gone. Alright? So I can have peace. See, this new lady. Oh my god. She's just everything. She cooks very well. She makes sure I have peace of mind. She just she gives me everything. In addition to it, a bad game, bad game, tight. <laughs> I think she's from Venus, honestly. Oh, <laughs> uh, father. <clears throat> father. Hello, father. Yeah. Uh, hello, Nick. How are you? <clears throat> oh yes, I am fine. And you? Glory to Jesus. Uh, Nick, as a matter of urgency, I would like to have a meeting with you. I would appreciate if you make out time for us to see. All right, Father. Okay. Okay, bye. Bro, I have to go. Okay, see you later. All right. All right. So I can help you take your box in? Yes, honey. Uh, it was becoming so hectic for me. So uh, I decided to move in here to take care of you and the kids. Yes, instead of going and coming back. I see. Uh, you don't look excited. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited. Are you sure? Um, uh, yeah, sure. You're sure? Okay then, help me. Thank you. Whoa. I don't know, it's not heavy. <laughs> what? Why is Auntie Rita not staying in our house? I thought you liked her. Yes, but not for her to replace mom. We want mommy back. <clears throat> Listen, mommy doesn't want to come back. In fact, mommy is not coming back. So, the earlier you realize that Auntie Rita is the new mommy, the better for everyone.
to eat are just two slices of bread. How will you shut up your mouth? And I don't like tea, but I want chocolate tea. Which one did I use? Just less mother gave you. And sport you will eat whatever I give to you in this house. Did you hear me? like you do not remember what we talked about. <coughs> Fine. <coughs> How much do you need? Just 250,000 naira. Excuse me? Yes. For just food? Nick, your kids eat a lot. They eat a lot. We've never spent that amount of money on food in a month in this house. Never. 250,000 naira. Ever. Are you indirectly trying to compare the PAN administration to my administration? Are you? See, Nick, I did not do anything wrong trying to start by you when your wife left you. Some money, but not up to two hundred and fifty thousand naira. Nick, I need this money. This money. I don't have cash on me. Okay, when I get to the office and return. But you can give me a check. That's why I said I need to get to the office. All right, my check leaves are finished. I need to get a fresh checkbook. Now I'll give it to you. Okay. There's something called mobile banking. with my name, right? So you walk up and you expect me to do all the work in the house. No. Eh? What? No. Eh? No. Do I look like your maid? No. Do I look like your maid? No. Do I look like your no. Get out from here. No. Get out. No. Get out. That will 
would be the last thing I would do for her. Never! You should be careful with your utterances, Nick. Do not be quick to speak when you're angry. Father, are you trying to beg him? No, he's trying to make it look as if I am begging him to come back to his house. No! Like I said earlier, I am not getting back to this man. I cannot stay under the same room with this man. You're a very big idiot. You're a bigger idiot. Well, I see it. You see it. I'm trying to, 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 to make peace and she's insulting me. Uncle Dua, Father, will, will you take it? A woman insulting you like this. Father, I will lose it all. I will lose it. I will lose it. Lose it. Lose it. Lose it. If you lose it, I will pack it for you. Listen, if you do anyhow, I will kill you in this father's office. Huh? Confess before the Reverend Father and God will forgive me. Enough, Nicola, enough. Enough of this nonsense. Why have both of you lost your morals? How could you exhibit such a really behavior before me? What has gotten over you? Huh? Nick? What is all this? My apologies, Father. Deborah. Father, I'm sorry. How? Listen to me, both of you. I know the amount of bitterness bottled up inside of you. But you know, forgiveness is the bedrock of every marriage. So you must find a way to forgive yourselves and sort things out for the sake of your children. Is that clear? <coughs> Fine. Father, I'll forgive this woman, but I will never, ever live under the same roof with her again as a wife. It's not possible. It's not. A woman that can kill my unborn children countless number of times for many years without letting me know. That person can kill me. She can kill me. I can't. Stop making it look as if I'm the devil here. I am not the devil. You are. You are a ego. You slept with another woman and eventually got that For God's sake, you pushed me. You pushed me. I was trying to find solace. I was trying to find peace because you would lie. Every second of the day you would lie. You pushed me to help me. You pushed me. Yes, you pushed me. Remember our days in school. Remember our days in school, Nick. I gave up my pocket money. Plenty times for you to buy your textbooks. I squatted from one friend to the other so that you could pay your final year fees with my accommodation money. I saved all my copper allowances so that you can start up something before you eventually got your first job. Even when you lost that job, Nick, I supported you. Nick, I supported you. I carried the weight of our family on my shoulders. And how do you pay me back? The best way for you to pay me back is to talk against me. But he talked against me because, because, because I bought him two girls. Okay. You don't turn against you. CNN, NCA, Shanghai, go ahead and spill it to the whole world. Tell them my secrets. Tell everybody my, 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 what my destiny is in public. Let me ask you, Father. Open and deep that and wine. Will you marry this woman? Will you marry her? Is she somebody that lives under the same with? Never again. Tell my story. Father, I am sorry, but this is not my nick. This is not the man I fell in love with and married. I am never getting back with this man. I can never live under the same roof with this beast right here. Never! Where is your conscience? Where is that love you vow? Where is your conscience? Where is that love you vow? Please open up your heart. Where is that love?
children complain bitterly to me today. About what? I said you've been too harsh on them. Nick, did that just come out from your mouth? So if the kids are being wrong, I should not correct them? That's not what I'm saying. Hey, children. Be motherly to them, that's all. So they don't feel the absence of their biological mother. Nick, do not compare their mother to me. If she was that good, you would have let her go. Rita, you're taking this too far. Taking this too far. You have to choose between sending them to their mother or having me here. Which one of you told your father about that thing? Which one of you answer me? I know it's you. It's you with your loud mouth, your loud mouth. Oh no, Auntie, it was me who told him. Oh, it was you. It was you. It, 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 it was you. the chairman of our company over a year ago. His son, who wasn't really interested in the company, sold it. The new owners retained only a fraction of the staff. I wasn't lucky enough. Now you no longer have a job. What's next? You should have been lucky. Because it go red. It go red. My greatest desire is to see you back with your wife once again. issues than reconciling with a woman who might even be in the hands of another man right now. Issues which I believe have befallen you as a result of living with a wrong woman, a woman that is not your wife. 
Father, please don't go there. Please. But that is the truth, Nick. You and Deborah made a vow before the Most High God. For better, for worse. We invited the heavens and the earth to bear witness to your union. You know what that means. Breaking such sacred vow can lead to a lot of devastation. Father, the greatest devastation is living with Deborah again. Nicholas, if I have to beg you with this holy sultan, then so be it. I want your home healed again. I want the joy that once radiated this house to come back. Take a look at your girls, the beautiful children that God has given to you. Each time I see them, I, I, I feel the emptiness, the, the, the void in their souls. Don't you feel the same? Huh? Nick, come on. I'm begging you. In the name of God, take your wife back. Stop fighting, oh daddy. Stop quarreling, oh mommy. Smile for us, oh, daddy. Cause your haters are watching. Stop fighting, oh daddy. Stop quarreling, oh mommy. Smile for us. Nick! I just noticed you washed your undies and you did not wash mine. You want me to beg you? Do you want me to beg you to watch my own aunties? I see you have some chaos in your head. Nick! Hungry. Is there no food in the house? There is no food, Daddy. There is no food in the house. Do not baby me. The kitchen is open to all. You and your daughters can go inside the kitchen and look for something to cook for yourselves. It's obvious you are not listening to me. I said there is no food in the house. Not even uncooked food. Are you expecting me to give you money from my ordinary teacher's salary? Come on, Rita. Come on. You know this is a trying period for me. I need your support. Mm. Nick. When I asked you to support me by washing my garments, you refused, right? Rita, Rita said it well. It wasn't just garments. What you gave me was your pants. Pants. I should wash pants for you. Say it well. Then keep your ego while I keep my money.
Where is your conscience? Where is that love?